Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I'm currently using a resource pack that has randomized nearly everything in the game. I have run a program that was created by Highblocker. He posted it on my subreddit, PhoenixSC. Poor guy had his post buried in the r slash Minecraft subreddit. So I am currently in a world which has run this. I got very unlucky. This is going to be very laggy for me, but I'm going to run with it anyway. The reason being, I have spruce leaves using an animated texture now. I'm going to fly over this mess because it's very laggy. There's the sun. Uh, let me show you the moon. Time set 18,000. Uh, there it is. The moon is using a painting texture, I believe. You can kind of see the side of it, but yes, everything has been randomized. Let me show you my inventory. I actually thought I was holding golden boots in my shield slot. And the extent of the chaos can also be seen here. So, command block as dead bush. So anything that you see that is using the wrong texture model, the item model, is now showing the texture in full. Because I didn't randomize the item models. Um, it takes a while to do this. So if you want to run the program and randomize everything, it does take like 5 minutes to do everything. You've got all of the different clock item textures here. There's the boot slot. It's now there as a golden pickaxe. Oh, and look at that. Enchanted boats. That is so funny. The color overlay has worked on the blazon bat egg. This is one of the best things I've ever seen. So the stone is using a completely different model. I'm actually in lava from this. I guess lava is now a torch. So if I'm swimming in torches, I'm swimming in lava. I guess you'll see this a lot more easily in the nether dimension. I have no idea where I am. I cannot even tell if I'm inside a cave. And what's this? A spider spawn egg is leather boots. This is just crazy. I, I don't know where I am. So here is the end portal room. I just found it. I can't see any silverfish because they're virtually invisible with this. I don't even know what that is. Is that... It's got to be like the XP orb texture, but it's just kind of inflated now. Um, this is so much easier to do, I guess, with the uh, with every particle having its own texture. Um, being that it can be animated now, but yeah, there's a silverfish. I don't know what texture it's using, but it's just died. Here is the nether. Completely open. I guess the netherrack has used the damage texture, the block damage texture. Yeah, the lava is now torches. This is very tricky to navigate. If I can just find a ghast or a blaze, that'd be exceptional. But I guess I'm going to have to summon one myself. It's really hard to tell if I'm actually in air or not. It's vases on bedrock. Anyway, summon, ghast, floating tentacles, nothing, just nothing on its face, and blaze. Nothing either. I don't know. Okay, so the end stone has taken up leaves, I think. No, I think it's wheat. It's one of the, the wheat progress blocks. Oh, this is incredible. Is it animated? No, it's just clipping. But I, it's really hard to, to go through this. This is really weird. And finally, the ender dragon is invisible, but you can still see its feet dancing. I don't know what texture that is. Is that a rabbit? It's like the toast rabbit. Looks like it. Or a cat. It's an ender dragon cat. And let's summon Enderman. And, oh, it's a spooky ghost. Oh, the inside of the Enderman is gates, I think. And finally, the wither is also kind of white and visible. Anyway, that's my life wrapped up inside a video. Everything's just random and unpredictable. So here is the program by Highblocker that I used. You can just choose the version you want. I did 1.14. And I've been warned by Highblocker to not select the GUIs because that would change literally everything in the game and that would be hard for you to, I guess, navigate through anything. So you still want to be able to click things, I guess. So I did everything else. I think I did block textures. I didn't do item models. I did item textures though. I guess you can change everything here if you want. And uh, the more things you change, obviously, the slower the program runs. And then just click randomize and it will generate the resource pack in your resource pack folder. Just select it when you play the game and have fun, I guess. It's a challenge. And if this program ever crashes at the end, which it has happened to me twice, the resource pack will still be generated. So you just have to select it. Anyway, thank you so much to Highblocker for creating this program. It is safe to download. Don't worry, I haven't had any problems with it. I have so considered doing this, but I just haven't had the time to randomize every name. I think that's how it does this. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. Take care.